Hi, I'm Graham with another V53 Daily, where we continue the conversation from Sunday. There's been a lot of talk about how things have to change, about how we can't go back to the way things used to be, mostly in the context of big societal issues. But I wonder whether these strange times we're living in have brought to the fore issues for many of us as individuals that we would like to see change. I'm not a particularly patient person, naturally. I like to be doing things. I like to get the job done. But just at the moment, I don't have a job because I'm off work. I'm at home. And I'm at home looking after my three kids, so my days are built around their needs and what they want to do. And you know, there are really, really precious moments in every day with them. But often I get to their bedtime and I just think, what did we do? Where did the day go? But you know, God isn't really interested in the things we're doing so much as he is interested in the types of people that we are becoming. I was reading about a study recently where they gave people the opportunity to receive a check today or to receive a larger check in two weeks time, a bit like a variation on the marshmallow test that John was talking about earlier in the week. And the thing that was startling about this particular study was that plenty of people took the check immediately, but of those who did, more than half failed to cash the check for more than two weeks. So they may as well have just waited and taken the big check that was on offer. It seems that their impatience was matched by an ability to procrastinate. And actually that was something I could really relate to because I've discovered these past few weeks that a little foible I have is that whilst I'm desperate to be doing things and bemoan the fact that I don't have the time or space to, when I do manage to eke out a little pocket of it, I often just fritter it away by staring at my phone and looking at the news article that I was reading half an hour before. You know, I, I want to be different and I want to use this time as an opportunity to change and we can do that. We can be the people that we're meant to be, the people that God created us to be. It is an opportunity if we'll embrace it and a good place to start is to practice patience. One of the biblical writers, a guy called Paul, he spoke about this much more succinctly than I just have. He wrote this, he said that we can rejoice in our troubles and these are troubling times for all of us. He said we can rejoice in our troubles for troubles lead to patience and patience to character and character to hope and it's a hope that doesn't disappoint.